Hello everyone, Face Up here, and welcome to Evolution. This is a new game that was just recently kickstarted. I uh, got into the beta here. Um, it's kind of a strategy game where you, from what I understand, is you have like a, it's kind of like a card game where you have a deck of cards and you play evolution stuff on a species and you just, you know, try to win the evolutionary chain against other species. Um, so right now, I don't know why there's no sound. Maybe they don't have sound yet, but this game is very much in beta. So it could be very buggy. We could get some crashes. We could get some broken things, but I kind of wanted to check it out. Um, so here we go. First off, welcome biologists. Evolution Island has some amazing species. Let's go exploring. First, let me know. Have you played the evolution board game before? Nope. No worries. It all comes to one thing. Comes down to one thing: eating food. Population. Okay. There's some sound. Ooh, it's loud. Woo! It's loud. Look right there. Your species is hungry. Neat. Yes. Oh. Okay. Excellent. That food is worth one point at the end of the game. Ooh. Okay. And so here's the deck stuff I was talking about. Ooh. That, ooh. Ooh. Add population to eat more food. Okay. So foraging. Take one additional plant food. I just click it. What am I clicking? Add population. Well, I'm trying to click it. There it goes. Excellent. Give it one more population. Okay. Okay, you can just click, you don't have to drag. Oh no, another species has come to the watering hole. Now you're competing for food. So can I be like, eat that. Om nom nom nom. Egad, two population didn't get food and starved. No! Some of my raptor looking things died. Well, that's not good. All right, so new deck, or new cards. The environment can be unforgiving, unless you adapt. Let's use foraging as a trait this time. All right, foraging, take one additional plant food. Great, a trait gives your species new abilities. Hover the cursor over the foraging trait to read its ability. Take one additional plant food. Okay, that's what I was confused on before. So maybe you can choose to discard your card like that and it gives you more population. I get it. Out of population, so you have enough unfed population to take two food at a time. So that's, aha, uh, Maybe that's like a discard. Marvelous, your species has adapted to eat faster. You can only eat food until your population is full. Go ahead and feed. So, you get some nom noms. Ah! Oh, look at him! Animation, that was awesome. This time it was your opponent that took something. Alright, missed it. As you can see, skillfully adapting to the environment determines who will survive. Huzzah! Because I survived. Ready? Let's go to a watering hole. Forgive me if you hear some grossness coming through the mic. I sprayed some anti-bug stuff around my house perimeter today, and it's making me sneeze and oh, all sorts of nasty. You can also use your cards to create more species. Each species you keep alive gives you another card next round. Oh, cool! Every feeding share one food to the right. Oh, so if this gets fed, does it go like all the way over here? I'm hoping. Yeah, I have two. You can use any card to create a new species or add population. The card you use only makes a difference when playing traits. Aha. Okay. So I can make another one. Cool. Splendid. Oh, a new trait, cooperation. Use your last two cards to make a cooperation chain. Try to adapt all your species to eat in one feeding. Okay. So if I go bloop and bloop. Nicely done. I should give him a voice up. Choose the correct species. Nah, that was a terrible voice. Choose the correct species to feed first. We'll go with that for now. I need to think of one for him. Um, Choose the this guy, because then he'll share to the right, right? I think. Is this how it works? Yum, yum, yum. For every species you keep alive, you get an extra card. So I should get at least three extra cards, right? Is this how many cards I get? No, that's my boots. Okay. Dinosaur. Cool. 
At the start of each round, you choose how much food to add to the watering hole. That number in the top left of the cards is their food value. So that. You've got three population to feed right now. Choose wisely. Okay. So, take one additional plant food. Every feeding share one food to the right. That's a minus? So, I don't see any foods, so do I need to play this card? Play it. Give it a treat. Mountains of food, this is more than you can eat and gives your opponent free food. Let's choose again. At the start of each round, you must choose how much food to add to the water. Well, I don't want to add negative. You've got three propositions to feed wisely. You're probably going to need more food in your population. Yeah, I know. I don't. So is the top corner, is that how much food it's going to get added? Is that what I missed? So I have three species, so this one, right? Perfect, just enough ourselves without excess leftovers. Okay. That's interesting. You could choose how to adapt this round. Remember the three actions, new species, add population, or add trade. Holy crap. He just added a bunch of people. Oh, check it out. Let's, um... Let's give a population. Oh, what the? Oh, I gotta feed first. That's right. So, nom noms. Okay. Very interesting. Okay, now I can add. Right? No. I tried to add species. It didn't let me. I'm so confused now. Alright, select food. This is the food one. I'm going to add... Four. How many of these can I play at once? That's the real question. So I'm gonna add this. So we can add four. And I'm gonna add... Where's the negative? Let's do this one. And add a species. Haha! -ha. So I have four. I could have played more. Okay. Sure there's one in the right here. Let's do this. Can I not? Remember this reaction, new species, add population, or add trait. Oh, I can add another species! Dang it! Alright, one of my people might starve, but I want to do this. Cool. <sighs> Feet to the right. There we go. Okay. If you change your mind, hit the undo button and give it a try. Okay. Lovely, go ahead and punch the end turn when you're done. I kind of want to give... Everything you share, one food to the right. Foraging, take one additional plant food. I have no idea what I'm doing. Feeding time. Alright, so six got added. <gasps> Why'd you get to go first? Oh no. How come he got to go first that time? Oh god, so many people died. Oh my god, look at that! Dead species. I'm kinda confused here. Usually I got to go first, okay? This is the create food round, right? Alright, we're gonna make... A round consists of select food card, play cards, reveal food, feed species. If you're ever not sure what to do, check the status bar bottom right of the screen. Oh, play your food card now. Alright, we're gonna... Can I not create species? Alright. Let's do... We have like a five. Alright, we're gonna do a four. And hopefully we can make a bunch of species. Here we go. Perfect. Um, I don't think I'm ever gonna want that big of a species yet. To the right. 
right. And then take an additional plant food. And then make another species. Do one to the right. And hopefully this works. Let's see. Glorious things happen when traits combine, mix and match. Screw you! Making so many things. I better get to go first. Ack, our opponent went first and gobbled up the food. Why? What? No, he didn't. That was the last round. Nom, nom. Oh, shit! I played the wrong... Damn it. I meant to do him. Not good at this game. Well, at least some of his people died. You died because I'm an idiot. Sorry. Alright. Now, does he get to go first? This time? Oh! Maybe that's what that means, that symbol. He gets to go first. The green answer shows that we can Thank you, that we go first this time. Don't leave your opponent any leftover food. So this is, must be a bug, because I do not have that dinosaur. Um, and it's saying that it works that way. So we're going to only have two foods. Maybe. Oh. Let's play four in case they play... <sighs> just as much as they need, and I still want to make sure my people get fed. Just in case, so let's do that. Yeah, see? He's gonna steal all my food. You're a douche. Add as much population as you think that ecosystems can support. Alright, we're gonna... Make a species. We're gonna... Oop. Gonna feed to the right. What's the long neck? Before feeding begins. Before feeding begins, receive one free plant food. Yes. Take one additional plant food. Um. Let's do that to make sure our people live, and then up our people because they have long necks, so that one of those should get canceled out, right? And then take one additional plant food. And see if they can screw over the enemy turn. Let's see this. Yum yum noms. Alright, four. Yep. See, he played hardly any. I knew he was going to do that. Ass monkey. Tried to starve me out. Ha ha! You lost some people, and I lost nobody. Ah! Oh. Okay, the long neck is awesome. Essentially, uh, I guaranteed that my current population is stable by themselves. And I get to go first this one. This is the last round. And I think I'm winning. Drats, we eat last again. We got a new trait, though, that can help. A long neck can reach food outside of the watering hole. That's funny. Um, it's all backwards and out of time here. So we're gonna... Oh, right, I'm playing how much food happens. Let's do four, and see if we can just do take additional plant foods. So I want a long neck. Let's make another species. And then we're going to do a long neck. And we're going to do share to the right. Take an additional plant food. Take an additional plant food. What? Oh, you only can have one of a certain card. Okay. So then, let's do long neck for you, up your species count, up your species count, and then, oh, this is as many as I can have. Hmm. What if I do this? I may lose one, but I think this is okay. Let's give it a shot. That's the symbol, okay. That's the icon of the game, was that E. Alright. I get to go first, sucker. I'm gonna eat 
eaten all that. What? No! Lies! That was... Okay, this was right for once. But the dinosaur lied. Stupendous. Notice long neck doesn't take food out of the watering hole. So all my people survived just fine. Cool. Dominant species. Yeah, buddy. You won. Simply smashing work for a new biologist. Your score is all the food you ate plus your ending population plus traits in play at endgame. Okay, so that's cool. It's not just if you had more species. Next up, carnivores. Or we can play this watering hole again to make sure we've got the basics. Now nah, I'm ready for more. Let's move on to another watering hole. I want to be a carnivore, that sounds awesome. Round one. Field intern starts first. Select food. Alright. Stay on your toes, chum. Here's our predators afoot in this part of the island. Go ahead and pick a food card. Aw, oh, do I not get to be the predator? One. Play cards! Remember, eating the most food is our goal. Yes sir, Bob. Yeah, that sounds fine. Because I'm only building one. I can feed to the right, and I'm gonna make another species. So I'll take additional one, I hope. Right? I think that makes sense. As long as I get to go first, because I have the dinosaur. Okay. Dinosaur means you do not go first. Maybe. Food time. Sounds! The carnivores come to the wiring hole to feed. Hover their cursor over the opponent's carnivore trait to read the ability. Okay. Must attack and eat other species. Go ahead and feed. He's gonna eat me, isn't he? So I I'm gonna take an additional food and pass it to the right. As long as he doesn't eat me. No! Yeah, he just ate the one with all my awesome buffs. Uh oh, this is horrendous. I will teach you how to adapt. <gasps> he gotta go again! He just nuked both of us. You're a jerk. Okay. Well then. Um that sucked. Select food. Carnivores can't eat plant food. All that food in the middle is yours for the taking. Play your food card. Alright, what do we got here? We got Plant food, every feeding, sure, one to the right. I need both of those. Let's play a six and see if we can actually pick up all six by playing this stuff. Carnivores can only attack smaller species. It's currently a body size two. We must defend ourselves. Protect your species with body size. Oh, cool. Can only attack smaller species, so if it's a two, you should be fine. So. You need this, for sure. Egad, our species is small and can be attacked. Play a card in the blue body. Size gem. Oh, I have to do it right now. And... Oh, it's because he goes first. Lovely, see if you can create another species and protect it, too. Yeah, I'm gonna... It's too big, man. Sure, one to the right. Um, I probably shouldn't have done share one to the right. Uh, undo. There we go. Ever feeding. Er, long neck. Ever feeding. Share one to the right. Did I do long neck before? I forget. So, gonna do that. So this guy will get cool. And then that. There we go. Well done, the carnivore is unable to attack. Eat up. Now these, do these persist? Holy crap. That's cool that they play the feeding cards too. Essentially trying to get my population bigger so they can eat more of me. This is awesome! The carnivore is not able to eat from the watering hole and has gone extinct. Okay, my turn. This game is fascinating. Select food. Ah, a new trait, climbing. Choose a food card. Where was climbing? Must have climbing to attack this species. Awesome! 
Let's do five moves. And then climbing works as both a defense and an offense. He's not a carnivore anymore. Okay. So I'm gonna do... Ooh, wait. No, 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 no. We need one here. We need this here. So right, right. Take an additional food. And then... Let's give you another person here. So since he's not a carnivore, and he's my same size, he'll, he should be okay. But if he turns into a carnivore, he's getting nuked. Let's make him guarantee that he can't kill me. Is he gonna, yep, turn it into a carnivore. So glad I did that. Oh shit, he's a three though. Oh, he's eating all my people. You know, but I get to go first, right? Nope, he gets to go first. Stupid dinosaur is broken. Only a climbing carnivore can reach your prey hiding in the trees, okay. So I should have used both those cards. So he can't reach me right now until he gets a climbing card. We're last in the turn order this time. This often is a good time to go into the attack and choose a food card. Man, the turn order seems to be broken. Alright, so... Whoa. Carnivore. <gasps> I want to be a carnivore. People aren't big enough. Get my additional plant food. We're gonna do... Oh, food card. Let's do four. Holy shit! Can you eat your own people? Let's evolve into a carnivore. Carnivores are a part of the food chain. They must be larger than their prey. Create a carnivore large enough to attack your opponent. Well, now you say that. You suck. I don't want to do that. That. Now you need to be bigger. So you can eat. Oh, I, that ruined because... Uh, the plant... He doesn't eat plants, so... Right? If we're feeding, because it's one free plant food. Every feed. Oh, every feeding share one food to the right. That is cool. Because that means even if there was a plant guy here, that's awesome, but. Please, plant food. One food to the right. So. These could actually work in synonymously really well if I had a plant person here, because he would eat this plant one, but and he would immediately share it right, right? That sounds right. Let's do... You're a carnivore. You need to be slightly bigger. And we need another creature here. So he's gonna pick up the plant food and just feed it to him straight up. And he's climbing so he's gonna avoid this carnivore. Being a carnivore is risky. You can no longer eat from the watering hole. What? Oh, I was just gonna be pissed off. What was the no? You have to attack other species to get fed. Drag your carnivore to its prey. Um, you need some food. Or you don't need food, but eat this guy. Nom! Got him! And you. They do eat their own people! That's messed up! So he's gonna starve, that sucks. Your carnivore gets food according to the prey's body size. Your prey loses one population, your carnivore gets two food. Shit, I should've done it this way. I should've done him. Cause I didn't know he was gonna go, and then he could've shared food. Um. Yep, damn it. Okay. Figure it out. I'm liking it. Now I have one carnivore. This could be fun. Alright, we're gonna play. Don't hesitate to use the plant supply if you don't need it. 
he's probably got a negative there. So let's do a two. Oh! No, the plants do persist. It is a good idea to adapt your carnivore in case your opponent increases defenses. Either add an offensive trait or add body size. Yeah. Let's do a one to the right. Just in case he gets screwed over. Where's the long neck? Do I not have a long neck? I do. Perfect. Just in case. Cool. Um, and then we're gonna increase your body size. Neat. Oh, he's not... He doesn't have climbing, though. So if he does climbing, I'm screwed. Uh, you're gonna take an additional plant food. And cooperate with the guy to your right. Which actually could get him screwed. So you are gonna increase in body size, which means nothing. So he's gonna eat one of him. So this is what's gonna happen. He's gonna eat him. Probably, because he has all these buffs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase his population, but not his toughness, because it would be nothing. And it would just give him more food. I think that's how it's gonna work, so let's try this. Okay. Feeding time. Plus six. Look at all that plant food. The battle to survive is relentless. Alright, so... Can I eat him? Because that would be dope. Yes! Oh, look at I shared all the food. That's so cool. Oh, and it goes back and forth here. Okay. So now I'm guaranteed to feed him. He's already fed, technically. Right? Oh, yeah, that's fine. Eat him. Oh, that's meats. Okay. Cool. Last round. Don't need to play food card. The deck is looking pretty thin. This is the last round. Play your food card. I don't want to play food. Can I not? Can I choose not to? Guess not. Okay. Jeez. Look at the craziness he's doing. By Jove, I think you're ready Go to go to the field alone. He just made five carnivores. So I could essentially do this, this. His carnivores are going to die. And... Yeah, this is what we're going to do. Just eat a bunch of the carnivores here. I think this should work. He does get to go first, though. There's plenty of food here, so we don't care. He's gonna take some food. I'm going to eat the crap out of your carnivores. Best of luck to you, new to biologists. I'll check in on you from time to time. Noms. Steal all that from Noms. How come it had minus one? I thought he had five people. So I thought it would take multiple. Guess not. That's a bummer. Okay, it did. Haha, -ha, sucker! You couldn't eat any of my people. Let's see how we fare. You won ferocious work there, biologist. Your score is plus. Oh, yeah, we already know that. So I got a total of 29. You got 12. This is a cool game. Ready for the full game? I think we're gonna do that for next time, though. I uh, hope you guys like this. This is, again, Evolution, new game that just got released, or er, got funded on Kickstarter. Uh, kind of liking it. I hope it uh, polishes out the funky dinosaur bug there. Um, but I have some pretty good hopes for this. This could be frustrating, as long as very fun, depending on how they do the AI, and if it just knows what you're going to be playing, and if it just screws you over. But this has some definite potential here. I might do another episode or two of this but i'm hoping you guys are liking it if you are remember to like subscribe comment let me know what you're thinking helps me out to know what you guys are thinking exactly uh but more importantly remember to spay new deer pets a top don't shop donate to a rescue if you can afford it or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering that's a very rewarding experience and helps those fosters or those rescue organizations and the animals very much out that are very much in need um anyway i'm basic thank you for tuning in with me and i'll catch you next time see ya